As you drive into the wet mountain valley on Highway 96, you're greeted with the spectacular view of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. I've lived in Colorado since 1996, and I have visited the wet mountain valley many times since then. I can tell you that this view never gets old, and this area is still my favorite place to visit in Colorado. I'm going to show you why I love West Cliff and Silver Cliff so much, and why I've chosen it to be my favorite destination for night sky photography workshops. Hi everybody, this is Mike Pock with Three Peaks Photography and I'm in West Cliff, Colorado. West Cliff and Silver Cliff are two small towns right next to each other in the middle of the Wet Mountain Valley. To the east are the Wet Mountains, to the west are the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And together, Silver Cliff and West Cliff make up Colorado's first dark sky community and the world's highest as designated by the International Dark Sky Association. There's also an organization called Dark Skies Colorado that maintains the IDA designation. And what's really of interest to us is the transition this place takes after dark. As you can see, there's plenty of shops and restaurants if you need a place to stop to eat or to purchase something. There's also a couple of gas stations in town if you need to fill up your vehicle. On the way to our rental cabin on Macy Lane, there's a historic marker that designates a spot where Zebulon Pike left two of his men who were suffering from frostbite during his 1806-1807 expedition through the area. And nearby Bedno Creek, which is now a 4x4 trail that leads into the Sand Dunes National Monument, is where he crossed over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains into the San Luis Valley. If you're a history buff, I would encourage you to stop and check out this sign and learn a little bit about the local history. Our rental cabin is a completely restored 1970s A-frame. It's a really cool space that we use to meet, have our classroom session, and it's also free for us to get some rest Everyone is welcome to get a couple hours of sleep after the workshop before heading home. And everybody who has visited really loves this place. Ignore the snow because this was filmed in December. There won't be any snow when we do the workshops during the warmer months of the year. Come on inside and let's take a tour. Here's the living room space. Some nice cozy couches. I like the eclectic decorating style. There's the big screen TV that we use for my classroom presentation. Here's the downstairs bathroom and shower. see the original frame from the A-frame structure. I have dibs on this room until infinity or until I decide I want a different room. <laughs> Heading over into the kitchen. Fully equipped nice island fridge microwave stove 
bread maker by the way if anybody is a chef who's attending a workshop let, let's talk and maybe we'll work out something where you can cook for everyone coffee and tea station stocked mini fridge with carbonated and caffeinated drinks a couple of comfy chairs there Back deck with some patio furniture. Heading down Highway 50, Cash is singing back to me. Dining area. Hands all packed, we're ready to roll. Got a sweet little spot. Friends are bound and there ain't no turning round. This weekend we float to Arkansas. Browns Canyons always need. Let's head upstairs to see the other bedrooms. I love the purple doors up here. This room has two twin beds. Falling in the seven thousand feet. Princess watching over me. Loopy mountain goes on and on and on. Dirt trails and mud on my feet. Can't say I got any sleep, but this mountain air to suit my soul. Here's the master bedroom. No purple doors. Area where the day bed and the smile thrown to and fro, burn skin with a heavy grin, and hell yes, we're doing this again. Brown skin is always me, numbers certainly are a tree, dancing underneath the firelight. These stars are burning. And we have the upstairs bathroom. Doing it all. We'll be doing it all again. With this really cool shower and bathtub. Now I want to show you what it's like to spend a night in Westcliff with me in one of my workshops and why it's such an awesome place to photograph the stars in the Milky Way. I've made arrangements with several property owners and the locations I use are all on working cattle ranches and I'm very grateful to these property owners to let me use their land and that makes for an even better experience because we don't have to compete with anybody else and we can just do our thing the owners know that we're there and we can just have that much more fun this particular location is out in the wet mountains I've taken the opportunity to show you all of these locations during daylight hours as well as the nighttime hours just to show you the transformations. Where this windmill is, for some reason, we get a lot of airglow. I, I don't understand why, but it's pretty cool to see it. I've also experienced complete silence several times at this spot, and that's something that is truly special. If you've never experienced that, it's something that is absolutely amazing. This spot here is just a couple miles west of town and this ranch has been in this family for 
generations and I love this old barn it's so fun to photograph and even though this spot is pretty close to town when we get there I'm always amazed that when we step out of our vehicles that it's so dark West Cliff boasts Bortle two skies and if you don't know what that means in simple terms it's really dark another great thing about being on these properties is that we really don't have to walk far from our vehicle so we can be right there if you get cold you can sneak back into your vehicle and warm up or if you need to take a nap you can do so and that's part of the way I have things set up to make things a little bit easier for everybody to make it through the night. Which side of the barn we photograph depends on the time of the season. Later in the season, we go to the east side of the barn and get the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the background. Earlier in the season, we can get the panoramic views of the Milky Way arching over the barn, or usually in the middle of the season, we can get the core of the Milky Way to the south with the west side of the barn in our view. This is a new location for me for the 2023 season. It's a really cool spot. It's a pretty active cattle ranch, so you gotta watch out for the cow pies. Just be careful unless you wanna bring an extra souvenir home with you. This spot is where we normally end up for sunrise. Got some sunrise pictures to show you at the end here. It has never disappointed. Clouds or no clouds, it's always a spectacular view right next to the Sangre de Cristos. It's a spot I can stay in all day and just watch things happen. Now you know why I love Westcliff so much, and I hope you have fallen in love with it a little bit too. And I hope to see you on one of my workshops. You'll certainly fall in love with it a little bit more.